Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up to date with an unboxing. I have got another kit from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and this one is a surprise kit. So I did get a sneak. So I know that it's bright and it leans a little bit more towards, I don't like to use gendered terms, it's probably more of a boy kit um, than more of like pink and florals. Um, and Christina sent me this super cute little card. I'll leave a link to the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and Redefine Creative, which Christina runs down below. So the good thing about this kit club is you curate, or Christina curates the kits for you. So you tell her what you like, what you don't like, collections you're loving, maybe things you've already got, and then she creates a kit for you based on that. So you can be super specific or you can be very vague so this time around I was quite vague I just said I want a surprise kit I already have these collections I think my sister might be getting me a couple of different collections for Christmas so I'm really hoping that we don't overlap sorry Jess if we do we obviously don't tell each other what we're getting but I certainly gave her some indication of the things that I was loving so I told Christina not to give me any of that and this is what we've got I haven't peaked I haven't opened it it's been here for two days it's been killing me but I really wanted to film it and I literally have 10 minutes before I have to go and take my son to a doctor's appointment at the Royal Children's Hospital it's just a checkup he just needs a b12 injection so it's not serious <laughs> but I have to take him and so yeah I thought I'd do this very quickly while my son is at my mother-in-law's having a quick play with her before we leave so let's get into this hey Ooh, I like to keep the tissue paper. I don't mind if it rips a bit because, you know, it's tissue paper. But I do keep it and use it um, backing and things like that. I've actually still got some of this tissue paper. Christina clearly buys this in bulk and always uses the same tissue paper because I haven't got a kit a last, last year or much earlier this year was the last time I got a kit. So, and it had the same tissue paper. So that's cool. All right, I'm just going to flip this over. Ooh, look at that. Put my tissue paper to the side. <laughs> right, it's in plastic. Apologies, there'll be a lot of rustling. I'm sorry. I could have unbagged it all, but I really didn't want to look at it until I was on camera. Oh, nice and bright. So, I like to keep those bags for storing my kits in, so I will put it back in there. So, let me just make sure we're in frame here. Now, I did say I wanted to try a couple of things. Oops, we've lost a few. Lost a few thickers, but that's okay. We'll just stick those back on. I actually already have these, but that's fine because look at them. <laughs> so I know these are from a Paige Evans collection and they're, there's two sides. So the good thing about getting kit from Christina is she can often split things up so you get kind of a taste of a few different things which is really cool rather than having whole packets of things. So that is a half pack of thickers and on the other side I feel like it was like a white with a pearl finish all the same whereas these are nice and bright and colourful so that's exciting. Ooh, okay so we have a stamp set so I know what this one is. This was exclusively designed for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and yeah it's like uh i guess a more um well it does have crazy man written here i guess it's more of a boy themed but it's not that's the only one that refers to a gender but it's got raw and a lion and a monkey one of those you know stack monkey things born to be rad stars always ready for adventure wild child let's build a fort this is my circus and these are my monkeys secret ninja actually don't know what that is is it a I don't know what that is I'll have to stamp it out and see what that image is um, little arrows and that says bonkers content rated by mum that's cute and then it's got a little PlayStation now the good thing is there's only one reference to mum here because this is an American stamp set we don't spell mum that way but that's fine because there's only one reference so that's cute I'll have fun playing with that now I don't know what the best way is to show maybe I should start with the papers because I feel like that will tie everything together. So, I want to know what this thing is. Oh, it's a stencil. Sorry. I really want to know what this was. So, this is a stencil. A big 12 by 12 stencil. Like a chevron stencil from Heidi Swap. That is cool. I will have fun playing with that. Now, I can feel something else in plastic here. So, this is the Chamel Field Trip uh, die cut 
cardstock. So all of these colored bits here pop out. So it creates a die cut in this wheel, but you can also use these popped out colored bits separately as well. So that is super cute. And now most, I don't know if all these papers will be from Shamil, but let's have a look. So this is the field trip again beautiful rainbow and that's probably going to make the camera go crazy but it's like a cool arrow pattern also i see z's or z's but there's also arrows oh that's fun this is again from field trip triangle pattern and the back is just a grid that's super cool i feel like this one's field trip as well yes oh look at that floral i know i said they weren't very florally but that's all right um i love using floral and that's a cute yellow and teal polka dot. This is the cut apart sheet from Field Trip. Don't bug me. <laughs> that's funny. Curiosity knows no bounds. Explore more. Let's do this. Ooh, and that's like the science thing. Reminds me of Big Bang. This is a cute rainbow spot and just a nice uh, watercolor y sort of wash of a green. That's fun. Ooh, this is like a cut apart sheet. Although it'd be really hard to cut some of these, but some of them would cut out quite well. Uh, I don't know what the, I don't know what the papers are called. And it's got a ledger line on the back. This one says between classes. So maybe that's what it's called. This is like a whitewash in a more of a tealy colour. Ooh, that's a beautiful leaf pattern there. Stunning. And this is Vicky Booten, Wildflower and Honey. And this has got a hexagon pattern. Christina loves hexagons. So do I. And like a watercolour background. It's more, it's not cream based, but it's it leans more towards a cream. And this is, I know it probably looks black on camera, but it's a dark blue and it's sort of a striped chevron pattern. This is Vicky Booten Kaleidoscope. And it's a kaleidoscope sunburst pattern. And on the back is a black leaf design. This is Field Trip again. This is called Museum Monday. It's clearly got the dinosaur bones. And the other side is just a stripe. Almost looks like a bookshelf. And this is, I'm going to guess, Chamel again. Um, a spot, a green spot. And it's got the rulers. It's called Measure Up, funnily enough. And the last paper is Vicky Booten Wildflower and Honey. And it's this sort of arrow... I guess it's sort of like a chevron rainbow and the back is this bright sort of pink um, with a faint dot in the background so they are the papers now let's have a look at all of the embellishments so we've got these cool enamel dots from my mind's eye blast off so some nice blues and reds and these are like holographic they are cool we've got these tiny flare um, homemade, handmade epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. And beautiful Christina knows we're going into summer here in Australia, not winter for Christmas. So these are all summer, pool, barbecue, beach, splash, fun, chill, swim, sun. So that will be great. We have got this mini alpha from Pink Fresh Studio in sort of, it's a green. Um, so we've got these two alphas, oops, for the kit. So that will be fun to play with both of those. I love the small elfers. Love them. These are some more epoxy stickers from Jelly Bean Soup. Very bright. They are such a good match, Christina. Such a good match. These are Vicky Booten stickers. I don't know what collection they're from, but they'll match particularly all the Vicky Booten stuff really well. So they are the cardstock stickers, double-sided. Here are some... Um, thickers called Colourful, Say Cheese, New Day, Oh Snap, Colourful, The Good Stuff, Laugh, Love, This Photo, Remember. So they'll be nice and fun to play with for titles. And here's another one, Thicker Words from Jilly Bean Soup. I have never seen these before. Foam stickers. So that's fun as well. Oh, hello sunshine. Oh, love it. Thank you, Christina, for getting me some summer themed things while everybody else is doing winter. <laughs> Love it. Now, here is some ephemera that I have got. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, I know this is from the uh, Chamel Field Trip collection. So I've never I've not got this collection, so I don't know if this is a whole pack or if it's split up. Doesn't matter. It'll be super fun to use. Some big pieces, some smaller pieces, some tags, say cheese, you rock. 
happy day. Oh, that one's cool. Kid approved. Hello, my name is. Look at those dinosaurs. Made of awesome. A few little banners. Super cute. So that is some ephemera from uh, the Chamel Field Trip Collection. From this, oh, there's one that says Rome in this little purple stripy bag. I love using the bags as well. They make such good little accents. What's in this one? I'm gonna guess Vicky Booten, but I could be wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Some chipboard frames. I love frames. <laughs> Christina probably doesn't know that, but I love frames. So they are some chipboard frames. I assume they're from the same collection, the Vicky Booten, uh, sorry, the Chamel Field Trip collection, but I'm not 100% sure. So that is my kit. Let me bring it back into frame, even though it's all not neatly placed. Let's see what we've got here. So spread it all out. That is the kit that I have got that I will be trying to work with in amongst you know, all my other things. So that's my kit and I'm totally gonna use that because look at that, that will make a perfect little accent piece on a layout or in my pocket page scrapbooking. So that is my kit from the Secret Not Secret Kit Cub. Thanks, Christina, you hit it out of the park like you always do. I, I was attracted to the field trip collection but it wasn't something that I would have bought myself. So it is nice to get this and to have a play around. I don't, always use bright colors so this will be a good challenge for me and i think they'll make super cute layouts of my little boy because let's face it that's basically all i scrapbook now <laughs> so thank you christina oh wait 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 there's two more things i totally forgot to show you i asked for some mixed media stuff because i'm sort of getting into mixed media a little bit and if you're part of the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, you already know this. There is lots of talk about Nouveau Drops and the Nouveau brand in general. So she has sent me this awesome embellishment mousse. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to open it now. But it's this beautiful, like, teal colour. Or oh, there it's called Pacific Teal. So beautiful shimmery teal colour. That will be fun to play with. And then some Nouveau Stone Drops in chalk white so again that will be fun to play with as well i do have a couple of nouveau drops mainly in christmas colors because my sister got them for me so i've got a red and a green and then i've got like a, a light blue so that will be fun how exciting i'll get to play with some mixed media and some nouveau products and the bright colored kit and i'm so excited thank you so much christina um i'll try to film a few layouts with this but bear in mind it won't be until next year that they go up on my channel We've already got our November video scheduled and for December we do our scrappy advent calendar and we've got some exciting changing it up a little bit this year. So that will be happening all of December. So you won't see any other videos apart from our scrappy advent calendar series. So regular scheduled videos will resume in January, which is scary since it's, yeah, it's only early November to say that, but it's true. All right, guys, I better go and take my son to his appointment and we will see you in the next one. Bye.